For many of us, we probably don't think much about the beautiful Ohio River, except for the occasional riverfront concert at the amphitheater or driving across a bridge. Most of us don't even see it. Helping to educate people about what goes on at the largest inland port in the United States, right here in Huntington, was one of the goals of this riverfront festival. It's been nice to see the folks, the first timers, people who've never been on tow boats. There was a lady who came down, she's lived on the river here in Huntington all her life and she's seen the tows go by you know, time after time. This is the first time she was able to get on one and she was just fascinated. She was a lovely lady to talk to. She had a, a, just a great personality and we really enjoyed having her out. Her comments actually made my day. It was nice to volunteer to do this, to hear those sorts of comments. And to see the children, to see the young families who come out and got no idea what's out here it's really kind of nice what is out here and what these guys do with it is an untold story the army corps of engineers calls inland waterway traffic the invisible transportation network and for good reason we move uh, 15 percent of the nation's freight for only two percent of the total transportation cost and uh, we do do that in a very safe and uh, environmentally efficient manner and it provides a great benefit to the nation, but few people are aware of it. These boats and barges travel up and down the river. They don't uh, typically uh, cause a traffic jam at an intersection. There's not a, uh, there's not a railroad crossing that's blocked uh, to where people pay note of it. It's, uh, we just glide back and forth doing our, doing our job. Folks coming out are real appreciative that we're here. Uh, and they've just been really tickled to be able to go on these boats, talk to the people that work on them, and understand the passion that the, that the workers out here have for, for what they do. Tony Seaton reporting for HuntingtonNews.net.